Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to design a hijab for any of your female 3D avatar in CC4 just by using the Marvelous Designer. And finally, you can simulate any of the hijab and bring it to your character created for CC4 to make it become a CC cloth for your CC4 avatar. And start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step. I'm going to remove the hairstyle from CC4 Camilla. I'm going to use the CC4 Camilla as an example. Next, just export as FBX. Click File, Export, FBX, a cloth character. In Blender, I'm going to just export in Blender versions. Then, to just save the GPU resources, I'm going to just eliminate the rest like this before I export. I'm going to just delete everything first. Then I click File, Export, FBX, a cloth character. In Blender, target two presets. Then turn on the setting. You need to make sure just use the T-Post as bind post, mesh only, use T-Post as bind post, and export, click OK. On the desktop, I right-click, create a folder, CC4 Camilla T-Post. Then export the file name as CC4 Camilla T-Post. Then click Save. It is going to export as FBX file. So that later we are going to import this FBX file into Marvelous Designer. At this moment, you already have the FBX file. Then, open your Marvelous Designer, click File, Import FBX from the desktop, CC4 Camilla, the FBX file, click Open. The scale, just choose Auto Scale. Click OK, and now just wait for it to import. Alright, once you see this, you can just temporarily ignore it. Just click OK. Now your CC4 avatar is already in Marvelous Designer. Alright, next what you need to do is just create, create a garment. I, just choose the polygon. Start from the center here, the stand, the center of the head. Click, then drag it to here, somewhere. Make sure, make a shape like this. Alright. So now, it is going to create something like this immediately. Then you can see if you click the edit, you can move any point as you want. It depends on the shape. Then click, make sure you move it. You rotate it first in this way. Go to behind like this. All right. Then at this point, you always Remember, you want here to seal at here. So later it is going to cover down. So you can just make it approach, approach the head. All right. Then I choose the seal. Just perform a few, a free sealing. From here to this point, some somewhere at the center. Then from here drag to somewhere at the center. So now I try to simulate. Then at this moment, you can drag it, just drag, drag this part. All right. So if you fail, then just reset it and make this bigger. Just choose, make it bigger. Click edit pattern, transform. Then make it bigger. If you choose here, 
it will become bigger. Transform it, make it bigger. Here, adjust it, simulate again, then try to drag this point until it can fit into the face. Okay, it almost success. Done. Then, at this point, you need more adjustments. Just drag it. And if the years, there are some penetration, it doesn't matter. You can adjust it in CC4 later. As long as you need to make sure the head is fit in this way. And here is below the face. The shape of the hijab is already there. Then it will be okay. Right. If you are unable to fix it, just leave it there later. We fix it in CC4. So once you already approach this step, next you can just make it better. At some point, you want to make it look better. If you already feel satisfied, then you can export as FBX first. So now, I feel satisfied because this is just a demo. I want to just make it simple. Next, I just click File, Export as FBX. But you export first. Later, we are going to do some adjustment in Blender. I'm going to just export on my desktop. Right click, create a new folder. Name this as hijab01. Double click. Hijab 01. Click save. Now it is going to export at here. Click OK. It is exporting everything. For this one, you look at the sewing, the size is something like this. All right. Once done already, you better save this. So before you save, just back to reset the 3D arrangement if you feel you need it. If you don't need it, then you can directly save it. Click File, Save As, Project on the desktop. Name this as Hijab01. Click Save. All right, save inside this folder. Sorry. Name this hijab zero one original. Click save. Now it is going to save as a marvelous designer project file. It is already here. Then now I can close the marvelous designer already. You can see. This is where I exported as FBX. It is here. Next, we need Blender to just make some UV alignments and also to remove the unnecessary mesh. So, open the Blender, click the empty area, press delete to delete everything. Press A first, select everything, press delete to delete everything. Then click File, Import, FBX from Desktop, the Hijab 01. Hijab 01 FBX. Now, you can see the hijab is set here. We only want this. Just click the hijab. You can see it is already selected. The rest are unnecessary. Just click the first one, hold the shift, click the last one. Delete everything as you've seen. Delete everything unnecessary. We only want the hijab 01 at here. Then, once you already have this mesh, go to the go to the material, delete the original one, just delete it. Then, go to the UV editing, and here, 
you can see click the empty area you press a this is the uv click here press a make sure you move it to the center all right this is the uv layout click the uv export uv layout on your desktop name this as hijab01 uv layout png export it then at right here you back to the layout then check the uv layout just copy one more time ctrl c and ctrl v to copy one more time right click open with the paint all right later right click open with the paint now you can see this uv layout the original ones everywhere they are transparency for these ones i just save one more time it is going to remove the transparency in paint so now you can see this uv layout you can make any color if you want all right next i just made some simple scribble so that you will know what happened let's say i use the red color and i scribble here I use green color scribble here what will happen later just have a look i save this is the uv texture and back to the blender i go to the material this is the material i already selected the mesh go to the material just plus new the base color just choose image texture open from the desktop the hijab layout just now I already copy and make something I turn on the texture now you can see at the left hand side and right hand side I already make some scribble it already appear at the hijab there so now this one I already can export but before that I go to the UV editing here just have a check this one save as a blender file first before you export click save as on the desktop just name this as hijab01 i click save as it is going to save as a blend file next time you still can come back to the blender to edit it then save close all right next time you still can come back here if you want to make some some other like the texture paint for this time the texture pane i can show you just a very simple demo let's say i choose a purple color and this is the brush brush size i can just make some scribble here see the scribble i save close save next time i open it will still there so the final stage is just import into CC4 to make it become Camilla's hijab. So now for this hijab as demo, I'm going to just export as FBX. The path modes choose copy and here highlight it. This setting is to make sure all of the material texture embedded inside the FBX exported. I choose export FBX now the FBX is on my desktop I back to the CC4 in CC4 you can see this pose is not balanced just make sure you go to choose the T pose choose from here calibrations T pose then click create accessory from my desktop choose the hijab 01 open now you can see this hijab already apply at here just double click it click transfer the skin width and choose the default click apply now you can see this hijab is already applied on here 
then close we are going to test with different different motion different animations this one I can just go to cloth and save it as a CC cloth I just save it as as others go to the custom save as custom cloth others because it doesn't have the, op the hit option so I choose other I click save the file name I'm going to name this as hijab 01 I click OK it is going to save then now I just test some other motions the template motions I test it the motion file calibrations a checking post maybe I try this now you can see some penetrations you have to make sure you just make it out right just go to edit mesh scope to just pull it out press Q make sure you pull it out for this time you can just click more time click it make sure no mesh penetration you can in, in, increase the intensity now it's 0 0.5 if I make it I high power make sure you pull it out And now we try with other other pose other gesture if you can see the penetration occurs just pull it out the more you do the more it is going to become perfect okay next I try with dive see all right everything still look okay what else so for this part there are some problems you must make sure you pass all of this checking post one by one all right now this part the open X relax And what else? Sit cross. Just now, relax. For this type of the tiny parts, you also can just fix it. 
As long as you've seen it, just fix it. Stand. Run. So now everything already look okay. Once okay already, go and save one more time. Go to the Go to the custom shirt shirt. I just now it's under others. You go and save the version two. Alright, now I still can see some problem. Just fix it first. Then save as hijab your ones version two save. So ne next time you can use it in any other three D avatar in your CC four. And sometimes you can you can adjust the color. Just back to the template. Just double click. Sorry, not this. Then exit the edit mesh. For this time, if you adjust the material, this set here, if you delete this material, you can change the diffuse color if you want. It can become any color if you want. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to make a hijab for any of your CC4 3D avatar just by using the marvelous designer. And finally, it will become a hijab CC cloth in your character creator 4. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!